just a quick one. I'm here at uh, Trio Smart Cow and uh, we're just playing around with a couple of scopes here. We've got a couple of, uh, well, three Siglants uh, slash A10s and the new uh, Rigol rebadged, uh, oh, sorry, the new Agilent, uh, which is clearly a rebadged uh, Rigol again. And we're just playing around with the new uh, Siglant, what is it? The SDS 1204 CFL. Does that uh, mean CFL backlight? Yeah, it indicates okay. it's a long memory. It's a C version. With oh, long right. It's with a long memory. And that's 200 megahertz, 2 gig sample yep. per second. And it's got a nice, nice looking screen on it. I like it. And what does this go for? Yeah, it's under $2,000. It's under 2000 bucks, And uh, and, and is that for the four channel? That's for four channels on two, 200 meg. Four channels, 200 meg. All right, yep. with... And that includes... And that includes full LAN interface as well, USB, pass-fail. Yeah, pass-fail testing yep. with hardware output. Yep. USB device, USB host. Nice. Yeah, every compliance mark in the world you need. Excellent. And, uh, and it's a it's a very nice looking uh, scope and it's actually manufactured, designed and manufactured by Siglent. Siglent. Yeah. Which are uh, apparently the world's uh, large, largest oh, OEM. Yeah manufacturer of scopes and it's you can see the heritage down here on this uh, a10 one but we think it's a um it's actually the original uh siglant one it's one of these uh big long case types before they um started doing these you know uh, uh slim case type ones and uh, you can clearly see the uh heritage in them and even this old one has a hardware uh frequency counter in it and the new uh, Siglent one of course also has hardware frequency count in as well and uh, and the uh, auto set uh, capabilities you can see the auto set um, allows you to jump directly to rise and uh, uh, rising edge and falling edge as well and you can jump yep there we go you can jump directly to it but you can see the uh, heritage uh, of uh, how we've gone well from this one down here down to this Siglent one up here with easy hunting technology, I love it. And let's see, um, it's uh, 295 Australian dollars for a 25 megahertz uh, scope. It's absolutely crazy. Double the sample rate of the opposition. And right, price. double the sample rate, 500 meg samples per second. And uh, yeah, so we've gone the heritage from the old uh, large case style to the modern slim case style, really low cost one to the more upmarket um, four channel 200 megahertz versions. This is what's nice, the, the width of the screen. Uh, what, what is it, 800 by? Um, I, don't, I, don't know the pix, I don't know the pixel count, but you've got... Um, is it, uh, I'm not sure if that is pixel doubled or not, but... Uh, it just seems very sharp. Yeah, you, the screen is very nice. I'm not sure how it's showing up on camera, but... Uh, yeah, if we do an auto on it, you can see how yeah. how, uh, how crisp the, the text is and how crisp the symbols are. Mm -hmm. It's very, and it's all nicely colour coded. Buttons are yeah. all uh, buttons are all pushable, so you can go directly well, actually, back to the it'd be interesting, centre. It would be interesting to see if we turn a channel on and then do an auto set, if it turns off redundant channels. As oh, we, okay. as we had yeah. a, a previous incident. Uh, yes, we did. That. Let's have a look. Yes, it does. It does. It turns them off. Yeah. Neat. But uh, yeah, it's a fairly nice uh, uh, four channel, 200 big yeah. scope for under two grand Australian. With a three year parts and labor warranty. Three year warranty as well. There you go. But uh, anyway, this um, one for, you know, is cheaper than a multimeter. It's just, uh, it's crazy. We're going to power it up. Oh, sorry. How long does it take to boot? Not long. And, yep. It's a signal. It's an AKA uh, signal. It's also a uh, LaCroix uh, Wave Ace same as fam well. Same family. It was same family. And uh, I think BK Precision as well, possibly. So it's, uh, but uh, Siglant are the ones who actually design and manufacture it. So they are a huge OEM manufacturer, and you'll note. Finger on the end of the probe. And yep. There's a 
50 hertz uh, input. 50 hertz update. Was it rattling or something? Oh, that looks there? pretty quick. It slowed down a bit there, must have changed the memory depth. Yeah, we're only, we're only looking at 50 hertz, so it's a very slow yeah. sweep speed. Oh, they're the, uh, they're the, uh, yeah. that's the software filter. Never, never experiment on camera. No. But, but let's have a go. <laughs> so let's turn the upper limit of this digital filter. Okay. And there's um, the, the button there. And we'll uh, see what we get. Asking him one other question. See if it actually, uh, if we take the upper limit down to, say, 250 hertz, and still picking the spikes up. So, oh, we could have turned the filter on, that would help. There you go. There we go. Look at that. It's taken out all those high frequencies. Beautiful. Well, and that's a uh, software filter, of course. Software filter. Yep. So you can change the filter type. At the moment, we're looking, we're looking at a, a low pass. We can change it to a high pass, so there's all the mm -hmm. high frequency noise. And we can... Uh, I mean, this is actually quite neat. I'm quite impressed by this myself. So we've got a low pass. Yep. We've got a... Band pass there, band stop. A band stop. We've got a band pass. Hey, high pass. And we've got a high the pass. Other, the other that I can think of is so if we just the high pass one, on the, on we can uh, yeah, we, we have, bring the low end in. Um, it's taken the 50 hertz yep. completely. And what if we power up the uh, Agilent one here at the same time as the uh, signal one? one. Uh, yeah, take it from the signal. One. So that'll, that'll, that's 385 plus tax. So the other, if you replace the 60. All right, how long? And of course, it's Agilent technology, but I'm pretty darn sure it's a Rigol. And you'll notice that the firmware looks between them look very, very similar. But um, I am led to believe that Sigma actually design and manufacture this and uh, rebadge it under many different brands, A10 and uh, and and Lacroix and various others. And Agilent, um, this is some variation of a Rigol and of course Rigol uh, you know so they're obviously copying each other's firmware because they very do look very similar if you look at the uh, waveform window on there compared to the waveform window up here oh, there we go and uh, they are incredibly similar but I think they are just uh, copied they're, they're just copying each other's uh, features and look and feel outright and uh, they aren't actually the same scope because a lot of people do actually um, think that the uh, Siglants and all those are actually the uh, Rigols, but they're not. So, and uh, they're similar, they? yeah, the, the, the update yep. speeds, in fact, if anything, so this one might be slightly it's faster. It's faster, fact, you think? It is, it is. Yeah. Oh, look at it stopping. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, That's yeah, I can see it stopping. Is it doing anything in the background? No, it's just stopping. Yeah, that's terrible. It's not doing any processing in the background. Does this look familiar or what? <laughs> it's very similar. They've just copied each other's. Check out that difference in that menu with that one. Look at that. You would swear they're from the same manufacturer, but. Uh, they're not, apparently. That's what we're led to believe, anyway. So, uh, do a tear down and see whose <laughs> name's on the circuit boards. <laughs> tear down, yes. Well, coming up, maybe. We might have to do some uh, tear downs of these things. But, uh, yeah, Agilent, what's the new Agilent one worth? Uh, this, is, this one's about 800 bucks. About 800 bucks. There you go. So, and this one's uh, 298. 298, but it is 25 megahertz. Do they do a 50 meg version? Uh, they, they do indeed, yeah. Right. Yeah. And 100, and 200, and 300. Now 300. Yeah, up to 300 in this package. But it wouldn't be the same hardware in the 300. It wouldn't be the same front end. Uh, no, it's got, uh, It'd be physically it's a different. It's different front end and higher stopping rates. Yep. Nice. But there you go, they are, that's just ridiculously similar. But, Value for money, I'd say that is the best yeah. on the market at that price. Isn't uh, it? Right 295 bucks Australian. Can you believe it? That's uh, cheaper than a uh, decent high end multimeter. Decent Incredible. Mid decent mid range multimeter. Yeah, mid range multimeter. <laughs> True. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll give you nice. So this one is also uh, the BK Precision uh, one, but they do change the model number, but it's also the um, Aten uh, 1022. 
see, yeah, and you're struggling is, to get that anywhere. Twice the price at a major Australian catalogue company. Tries to be, yeah. <laughs> so you're struggling to get that any cheaper than you can buy it here in Australia, which is quite remarkable. Which is quite unique. And there we go. Uh, BK Precision do actually change the uh, number of it. It's the 2530B, and their manufacturers suggest a retail price is 449. Uh, US dollars, whereas you can get the same thing under the Siglent brand here in Australia for uh, $298. Crazy. Sure who... We don't know who the, who the actual OEM of this is, but it's not Siglent. Okay, so this is not a Siglent one. We've got another one here out of the box. What is it? A 20... It's a UQ2062, but that's not... UQ2062C. That, that, that is not right. the manufacturer. Okay. That's not the name. This, this is rebadged by a Chinese company. Got it. So this is probably third down the rung in terms of uh, reputation. They're, 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 they're very, they're, they're good scopes. Uh, they're they, decent they perform scopes. Well. Yeah, they're, they're very good okay. scopes. They perform well. Uh, we can power one up if you want to have a look. Oh, might as well. Up, power one up. See, that's a very fast boot. Yeah, oh, what, what, watch, watch the boot time. Let's do Ready? it again. Yep. Three, two, one, go. That is... That's a fast boot. Where, oh, that, yeah, you can't see the graticule there at the large angle oh, you can, like you can that. change that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is the Unique UQ2062C, yeah, well, but we Unique don't think a, it's made yeah, by no, Unique. No, Unique is a big Chinese distributor. Yep. They just buy stuff off lots of smaller companies and, and mm -hmm. badges. So we're not actually sure who the original uh, manufacturer of this no. one is, but it's not uh, Siglent and it's not yeah. Rigol. And it needs pro compensation. Yeah. But that's a fast auto set. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a nice scope. And what's this one in the set? How much is this in the 60 uh, this meg version? This is 60 version? meg, 500 mega samples, around $340. $340 bucks Australian. Very good price. I, don't, yep. I think so, but we're selling right. them. Yeah. Yep. But I still think it's a good price for that. Um, yeah, 500 mega samples. It's got... Uh, yeah, the auto, normal, normal auto, it doesn't have any of the, the bells and whistles of the other yep. one. So you've got... Yeah, it's a very Spartan company. interface it's, by the looks it's, of it's, it. It's a more basic oscilloscope. Yep. Silicon Chip did a review on this. Oh, okay. It was actually right. a very good review. Right. For the price, for anyway. For the price, yeah. If, yeah, of course. Again, again, everything's it's a, for it's the price. a very basic uh, 50 meg scope. Yep. So where's the math? So tight math, FFT. It does do, FFT. Got, does do a, basic, basic FFT, FFT, of course. To, to How do you turn it on? We'll to oh, there we no, go. No, it was, there it it was on linear as opposed oh, to Oh, okay. Right, it was. So that's all. Got it. Uh, I'll just get a, bit, a few more dimensions on the FFT. And of course, it's only 500 uh, meg sample per second, so yeah, they but, haven't. Uh, but for 60 meg. Yeah, for 60, 60 meg, it's, it's, it's more than that's enough. Plenty. Yep. Uh, the auto set. Boom. Yeah. Jump straight in. So that's a very <laughs> basic scope. It's just a basic scope. Yep. Yeah. But for somebody who just wants, if you need the bandwidth, oh, it's a uh, very good value. Yep, for the bandwidth, whereas if you're after a bit more, um, okay. slightly more, more functionality that, with possibly yeah. better performance, yeah. then you're looking at yeah. the 25 meg, yeah. so you're sacrificing a bit of you're bandwidth. Sac sacrificing features for bandwidth. Bandwidth, yep, for a the sample price. Rate, sample rate's the same. Yep. Cool. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's very Spartan interface. It's very, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, they really haven't done any bells and whistles on the uh, the GUI there. And as a quick bonus, we're going to play with a table oh, no, Arbjam. No, I haven't got time to play with it. It's oh, well, no, we're, we're going to... Yeah, it's a minor unboxing here. Straight so, out of the factory. Here we go. Still got the sticky on it, so I'll leave it oh, on. Oh, yeah, there. leave it on. So it's a... 2.3 gig sample per second, arbitrary waveform generator, same speed, pretty much the same speed as the uh, Agilent one I just uh, tore down. Nice little SMAs on the uh, on the front there, and uh, USB on the front. Nice keypad interface. Got the obligate. Don't really like the knob, though. It's not really a knob. It's like a. It's just yeah, a so flat. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a flat optical uh, encoder. Like you can't really grab it like a real knob. You've yeah. got to. Ah, True. no. No, got to have a real knob, but apart from that, um, really nice pity kit. This is uh, Tabor, uh, who actually, they do design and manufacture it. So, uh, 
Look it's at oh look at the back. Here we go. What do we got? Sequence segment control. Beautiful. Ooh, two, oh, you can sync two instruments together. Yep. Does it come with yep. the cable to sync them? Or? No, that's an option. Oh, May, right. That's an option. Yeah, of course. And uh, GPIB and uh, yeah, neat. Yeah, LXA. Sweet. That's a really nice bit of kit. Mm. I like it. Yep. Only 34 grand. Only $34,000. <laughs> Bargain at the same price. <laughs> Not at twice the price. <laughs> Awesome. So there you go. We're just playing around with some scopes at uh, Trio Smart Cal here. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time.